Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 4.16 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.16 is entitled The Enemy. I have for you Matthew 13 verses 38 and 39 from the King James Version of the Bible which is public domain. In those verses, Satan is called the enemy, and the verses go like this. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. This is my commentary. The notion that Satan is the enemy is an interesting concept. By thinking of Satan as the enemy, we perpetuate the illusion of duality. Why do we think of him as the enemy? Because he tempts us to turn to that which causes us soul pain. And because we think of soul pain as our enemy, when in fact, it is a reminder of our path to joy. Revelation 12 mentions a great red dragon which sought to eat the child of a beautiful mother giving birth. This, it seems to me, might be taken to mean that Satan is a dragon who seeks to devour Mother Mary's child, Jesus. Thus, Satan might be taken to be the enemy of Christendom. I have for you Revelation 12, King James Version, Public Domain, verses 1 to 4. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads, and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. I have for you an image entitled, The Great Red Dragon and the Woman Clothed with the Sun, by William Blake, created in 1805 and 1810, which I found in Wikimedia Commons. Here is the image for you. It's very dramatic, I warn you. There's the woman clothed with the sun, and there is the dragon hovering over her and obviously causing her some alarm. She's afraid, right? See the face? I have the description for you. A golden winged woman about to give birth is kneeling with arms defensively outstretched looking up at a big, muscular, beige-colored dragon hovering menacingly in the air just over her head. The dragon has human legs and arms, ram's horns, wings, and a tail. It is wearing a simple, spiked crown. I see it has many heads. To continue with the commentary, Revelation 12 goes on to explain that the woman gave birth to the man-child, then fled into the wilderness. Then there was a war in heaven in which the archangel Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. Archangel Michael's hosts won, and the great red dragon, named in verse 9 as Satan, was cast out, quote, 
into the earth, unquote, which might be taken to mean into the molten magma of the center of earth, perhaps in a subtle rather than a physical sense. I have for you verses 5 to 9, King James Version, public domain, and they go like this. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. I have an image for you entitled, Michael Casts Out Rebel Angels. The illustration is by Gustave Doré from English Wikipedia, and it's in a public domain. You can see Archangel Michael and the heavenly hosts at the top, and Satan and his fallen angels at the bottom. They are being cast out. See, very dramatic. Gustave Doré is like that. It's always very dramatic. To continue with the commentary, thus we may take it that he who is the enemy of humankind is also at war with the heavenly hosts led by Archangel Michael, and that we may call upon these to help us should we feel ourselves to be tempted by or engaged in battle with Satan and the demons under his charge. We may anticipate with confidence an outcome similar to that portrayed in this action scene at the portal of St. Michael Church, Vienna. And now I have for you another image. The title of the image is Statue of Archangel Michael Vanquishing Satan. The photo is by Vi Ko, that's V-I-K-O, 8 September 2013, from Wikimedia Commons, and it's Creative Commons license, so I can show it to you. This is quite a dramatic statue. At the top is Archangel Michael, and beneath him is Satan vanquished by Archangel Michael. You see the beautiful golden shield of Archangel Michael and the sword. The description is simply Portal of St. Michael Church, Vienna. These have been some interesting images this time and a little explanation about Satan as the enemy of humankind and of the heavenly hosts. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.